We start in Myanmar, where there are reports that two major cities have been put under curfew. The U.S. Embassy in Myanmar says it's been told that both Yangon and Mandalay now have a curfew between 8 at night and 4 in the morning. The leader of the military coup, which took power last week, has made his first nationwide address a day after the country saw its largest protests in a decade. Let's have a listen. Myanmar's army, the Tatmadaw, is there for the citizens, as always. Citizens are the mothers, citizens are the fathers. The Tatmadaw always acts according to the law and obeys the constitution of 2008. The Tatmadaw held the election for justice for all the parties, which leads to democracy the way the people always wanted. Well, for a third consecutive day, thousands have taken to the streets across Myanmar, demanding that democracy be restored and calling for the release of the civilian leader Aung San Suu Kyi. Police use water cannon on the crowds. State TV has warned the protesters that action will be taken if they threaten the rule of law. With the latest, here's Jonathan Head. Monday morning and much of Myanmar was on the move. In packed lines, marching to make their feelings known. Numbers are hard to estimate. But these protests are big and gaining momentum, confidence and organisation. Today they came in professional groups. Teachers, engineers. And here, in the city of Mandalay, an early morning mobilisation of lawyers. This isn't yet the general strike talked about by opponents of the coup, but that's where it's heading. Something like a nationwide uprising against the military. In the capital, Nepidor, a city designed by the generals to insulate themselves from unrest, a chaotic standoff between police and protesters with occasional blasts of water cannon to little effect. The junta's authority is being challenged even in its stronghold. Something has to give. Younger Burmese have little experience of military repression but their parents know what's possible here. The last protests against military rule 13 years ago ended in bloodshed. Even with today's scrutiny by hundreds of smartphones broadcasting on social media, no one can be sure that this crisis won't end in the same way. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok. Well, let's speak to Tin Toise, who's the former editor of the BBC Burmese service. She joins me live on the programme. And thank you so much for your time here. What do you make of what the general has been saying, the protests and the threats from state TV? The general was rather persuasive in his tone. And uh, he just reinstated what he has been saying ever since he took power, he took over power from the our San Suu Kyi-led government. What, um, uh, what is interesting is uh, he didn't address the people that uh, took to the street since weekend. He just mentioned about uh, the roadmap, the five steps roadmap they are going to carry out. And uh, he, he repeatedly said uh, he's going to order the projects and the trade uh, agreement uh, made by the previous, uh, made by Aung San Suu Kyi's government. And he also, uh, what, what uh, the, the, the general is saying is that uh, people are out in the street, although he didn't address this, but he said, don't judge things uh, with uh, emotion. He said the, from their own investigation, the Union Election Commission, belong to the previous government, they, there are a lot of discrepancies they've dis, they found out. So they're going to address that, investigate that, about, and uh, after he, that... He talks will... about facts, not feelings, and yet didn't produce any of the facts himself. How ominous do you think it is, though, that uh, those warnings uh, to protesters, how long do you think it is likely to be for the military actually has a rather more brutal crackdown? We know what they are capable of. The military, it looks like they are, they have a strategy and they are following their plan. Today, they, there are a uh, counter protester came out. It, they were in there yesterday and day before yesterday. On the third day, counter protester came, came out. Uh, they, they could, it, it could uh, break into violence and disorder. But today, they just display their force, the counter protesters. And tomorrow, 
the people, there is curfew, as uh, the news mentioned just now. Curfew is imposed on to, across the country, several towns and uh, major cities. The people, we have to wait and see whether the people will come out again tomorrow. If the people start protesting tomorrow, and uh, if uh, very likely the counter protester will be on the ground as well. If there is any violence or disorder happened, drastic action can be expected from the police. This has, uh, this has happened before, this has ha happened before, and uh, it wouldn't be surprised uh, if this repeat, uh, if this kind yeah. of uh, action is repeated again. Well, we shall see. It's into our way. Thank you very much for being on the programme. Thanks so much for your time.